Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I plan to give a fresh and colorful touch to my drone by adding four LED strips on each arm. So I decided to take this occasion to show you how to configure and customize programmable LEDs in Betaflight. The LEDs I'm using are the Speedy B ones. If you want them for yourself, I leave the link down in the video description. So let's begin. First off, we hook up the wires to the correspondent path, 5 volt ground and LED, red, uh, black and yellow. And in order to make all four strips programmable independently to each other, they need to be connected in series, just like this so that we can assign different function to each strip and even to each LED. Obviously, if you opt for this, you need to find a way to make the wires long enough to go from one arm to another to connect the LED together. Now we go in on beta flight and we start to see what function we can assign to our LEDs and the way it works. Okay, connect the drone to beta flight. And first thing we go in onto the configuration tab. And we need to make sure that the P on the left, the LED strip is enabled so that beta flight can recognize the LEDs. Once this is done, if you, if yours is off, turn it on, click on save and reboot, and then you go onto the LED strip tab. And here to start configuring the LEDs, first off, we need to click on wire ordering mode. We have 16 LEDs and it doesn't matter if we put 16 all in a row like this, or we do like four, four, four and four. But the flight doesn't really care about that. It's more a way for you to keep everything organized. So making a way which makes sense to you. And, but what really matters is the numbers. As you can see, whenever you add an LED, they are labeled with numbers starting from zero. The number zero in this case is the first LED. And it starts from the strip, which comes straight off from the flight controller. So let's say I do, this is the first strip for me. And this one is the first one coming off the flight controller. So this really matter. And the way I'm going to do, it's just like this. So I'll clear everything and then do like one, two, three, and four, and then go. go with the other strip, which is on the arm of the motor number four, and one, two, three, and four, and then the other strip, which is on the motor number two, over here, one, two, three, and four, and the other strip, which is on the motor, arms motor number one. Here we are. From now, you can start to see what function we can assign to our LEDs. Okay, now we can uh, select the first four LEDs. So press and hold the CTRL button on your keyboard so you can make selection. And let's say this one we want color, red color with a scanner mode. And the second strip, or also with color, but the different one, let's go with yellow and laser scanner. That one, same thing. Color with blue color. The other strip. 
let's say green lesser and also less in the this one I forgot okay you click on save and I show you the way it looks on the draw Okay, let's wipe out this configuration and we'll try another one. So select all the LEDs and we go with the arm state. So down here, we can see this arm has a red color, which is number two, and arm yeah. is a green color which is number six. So this means when you plug the battery, the LEDs will be red. As long as the drone is disarmed, once the drone is armed, the LEDs will turn green. Here we can also add the last scanner. Oh, let's have a look at the blink, always blinking. And click save and let's have a look. After we have seen a couple of functions for the LEDs, I'm just going to go through and explain some of the others. Uh, and after that, I'm going to show you how I'm going to set up my LEDs. So the arm set we have just seen, the battery, basically this one, the LEDs will change color depending on the voltage of the battery. So if the battery is fully charged, the color of the LEDs will be green. When the battery goes down to 80%, the color will change to lime green. Then when the battery goes down to 60%, the color will change to yellow. And then down to 40%, the color will be orange. Down to 20%, the color, color will be red and down to 0%, the color will be deep pink. Then GPS, this one, when there are no satellites fixed, the color of the LEDs will be red. When you start to have some satellites, the color will change to orange. And then when you have fixed satellites, the color will turn to be green. Then modes and orientation, you can choose to have like the two LEDs at the front, like up of a color of your choice. In default here comes like green, but you can change like red, orange, and you can have the two at the bottom, the down one of another color. And of course you can make, you can put some overlay like laser scanner, blinking, warnings, uh, whatever comes in mind to you. Okay, the RSSI is exactly the same as the battery. The color, color of the LEDs will change depending on the strength of the radio link. And if you have 100% strength of radio link the color will be green then down to down to 80 percent the color will change to lime green down to 60 percent will change to yellow down to 40 change to orange down to 20 change to red and down to zero deep pink okay now it's time to set up my leds and the idea i have, I have had in mind is to have the four external LEDs, one for each chip, to function for the GPS, and then the others to live with the arm state, no blinking, maybe a laser scanner. But what I would like to have on top of this is the ability to change color during the flights. But since we cannot have two functions at the same time on the same LEDs, 
what we can do instead is to add a color modifier. So I'm gonna add the turtle as a color modifier, which means either in disarmed or armed mode, if I move the turtle, the LEDs will change color. And that's the way I'm gonna set them up. Okay, so the LEDs, the four LEDs at the outside will tell me whenever I get fixed satellites, and the one on the inside will tell me whenever the drone is out or they start. <laughs> and then they can change color before and during the flight. Okay, let's have a look. Since I decided to let the LED strips function all the same way, I can let them work in parallel rather than in series. Since the flight controller I got on board, the SpeedyB F405V3, as at each corner, pads for LEDs as well. When the LEDs are connected to these pads, uh, they can be operated in two ways standalone and via beta flight. It is possible to swap over the two modes just by holding down the boot button on the flight controller. Just done with hooking up the LED strips on the flight controller in parallel and also I got a couple of extra LED strips and I connected one on this LED in series and the, the other one to the other LED on the other arm. Let's <coughs> power the drone up and see how they look. Okay, that's the standalone version. So by short pressing the boot button on the flight controller, you can change color. By holding down the boot button, oh, sorry, switch to beta flight. That's the setup we made earlier. So now since I've got these two extra LED strips, I'm gonna do a new setup. Unplug the battery. Also, before we jump onto beta flight, I'm gonna use these two extra LED strips for the same function. And that's the way I hook, hooked up to those two LED strips here. But if you want, if you're gonna have the, my same setup, but you you wanna have these two extra LED strips for different function, then what you need to do is to choose one or the other. It doesn't matter. But then you want to have them connected in series like this so that you can customize one LED strip for one function and the other for another function. But since I'm gonna use for the same thing, I'm gonna leave like this. Okay, let's jump to better flight. And what I'm gonna do is to have the three LEDs on each arm for arming and disarming. One LED here for the RSSI and those two for the GPS function. Okay, let's jump on to beta flight. Okay, back in beta flight. Now we're gonna cancel three of those. I should cancel all, set all over again. Clear selected, clear wiring, none, save. Okay. 
And now we start from the beginning. So one, two, three, and four. And so this one, this LED strip here will control the four LED strips on top of the drum, on top of the arms of the drum. And as we said, we want to have one LED for the RSSI function and the other three LEDs with the arming state plus a scanner with a trussle as a color modifier. And then we're going to make another strip. This one will be for the two strips at the front and those ones we're going to give the GPS function only. Now we can save also if you want to have the two, as I said before, if you want to have the two LED strips at the front connected in series to give to each strip at a different function, then you're going to have here another strip and you can assign a different function. But since it's, it's not my case, I'm going to just leave as it is. Okay, those three for the arm state with Trattle as a color modifier and as a scanner. And this one for SSI and those ones at the front for the GPS. Yeah. Click save and let's see the final result. Also, if you're wondering why the drone doesn't make any sound at the startup is because I turned the function off, I turned the beeper off. Anyway, so the four LEDs here, as we said, uh, for the RSSI, which means once I turn the transmitter on, the LEDs there should turn green. So let's check this out. Welcome to HTX. And here we are. Very nice and quick and this one uh, we, as we say is for the arming and disarming plus with the trattle as a color modifier so as we seen already they change color once we are turn green and then change color again okay those ones here are for the gps and they will stay red for forever if I leave the drone here because I'm inside. So anyway, they should turn green once the GPS gets fixed satellites. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing, leave a like, leave a comment if you have any question and we will see you at the next one. See ya.